Hello and welcome to Tech Report on Sky News Business. I'm Bridie Barry. A new online marketplace is hoping to transform the way employers recruit talent. With the recruitment industry under pressure, a startup The Search Party is aiming to cut hiring costs by giving employers free access to around 2 million CVs. Let's get some more on this. We are joined by Ben Hutt, the Chief Operating Officer of The Search Party. Ben, thanks so much for joining us. Um, so you've launched Marketplace, it's called. Uh, it went live, what, about four weeks ago. Uh, just explain to us, you know, how it works. That's right. So um, the Marketplace is essentially two and a half million candidates represented by 60 of the best recruitment agencies in the country. As an employer, you, you log on. It's really simple. You create about a 60-second questionnaire that talks about the type of person, the type of role you're trying to fill. We then search against that, against the massive candidate pool, and recommend matching candidates that are potentially suitable for that job. And then the employer will request more information on those candidates, contacting the recruiter that represents those candidates, and essentially organizing a fee, um, and agreeing a fee under which they'd be happy to engage should the candidate ultimately get the job. And, and how do you think you're different? Because obviously there's plenty of other online recruitment sites out there. Absolutely. Look, there's, there's lots of um, innovation going on in the recruitment space, but most people are trying to take the recruiter out of the game. I mean, someone said to me last week, technology is eating a recruiter's lunch at the moment. Our view is, is very different. It's actually that there's intrinsic value in the recruiter and the services they provide and the relationships with the candidates and the depth of data that they capture over the life of that relationship. And the, the challenge is how to unshackle the recruiter from the traditional business model where they work 75% of the time for free and put those skills and that um, value in a, in a mechanism that employers can engage much more leanly and, and scalably and flexibly and that's that's really what we're all about. Okay and, and on the sort of cost point as well because obviously it's pretty expensive and time consuming to search for for talent um, can you offer are you offering something different there as well? Sure we actually make it really really easy so as I said it's about a 90 second questionnaire to define the type of person that is you're looking for and then through big data and some really amazing search algorithms we've developed here in Australia we refine that with the people that are doing the hiring very, very quickly. It could take as little as five minutes to request some matching candidates. But you mentioned some great points, like it does take a long time, on average 81 days to hire a person in Australia, and it costs $15,000. So we're of the belief that there's plenty of scope to improve on that, and that's really where we come in. Okay. And um, what kind of demand have you been seeing so far? How's it been faring in the first four weeks? Oh, it's been phenomenal. Like for launch on the 1st of November, we signed up 40 or more leading employers from around the country. And some of those include global companies, such as two of the four accounting firms, two of the major telcos, but also some really niche, fast-growing um, employers. And that was matched with sort of supply from the recruitment industry that really exceeded our expectations. And we signed up more than 60 leading agencies representing two and a half million candidates in a very short space of time and um, to be honest it's been phenomenal and the reception has been really really phenomenal. What technology have you used to, to, to create this? We've developed all our technology in Australia. Um, Australia is a great place to be innovating at the moment and we use a blend of core technologies, different things depending on whether it's sort of what the objective is. I mean, we never believe us in sort of technological fads and getting on the latest craze, but what we do is we pick best of breed tools for segments of the platform that they're best suited to. For us, it's all about being scalable and, and flexible and really able to meet massive des sort of design complexity um, quickly and effectively. Well, what's your sort of targets? I know you're, you're sort of hoping to take this global as well, but what, what's your sort of targets for 2014? Sure, look, it's going to be a really big year for us next year. Um, we are already got pretty advanced plans for expansion into the Northern Hemisphere, particularly UK and North America potentially. Um, the recruitment industry globally is under the same sort of pressure that it is here in Australia, where employers are frustrated by the traditional business model, recruiters are becoming less and less profitable as people gnaw away at their margins. So we think there's actually a really quite large opportunity to scale what we do relatively quickly um, and really help the recruitment industry evolve to be more profitable and sustainable into the future, but also help employers find better people more quickly and more cost effectively. All right. Thanks so much for, for coming in to chat to us. Ben Hart there from The Search Thanks, Party. Brian.